After 10 minutes of recording, get yourself a new plant. Once you have the new plant, you can start the surface peels described in Part C. Before you begin Part C, it's important to understand the abaxial, which is the underside of the leaf, and the adaxial, which is the upper side of the leaf. If you have enough plant material, for Part C you can use two leaves. You want to begin by applying three patches of clear nail polish to both the abaxial and adaxial leaf surface. Once you've applied your three patches, leave this to set. Now that you've applied your three patches of nail polish, you now want to label your slides. This is a very crucial step. It is important that you label the frosted part of the slides. When labeling the, part, the, the frosted part of the slides, put the name or type of plant and the leaf surface, abaxial and adaxial. For the next step in Part C, it is crucial that the three patches of nail polish that you applied, both to the abaxial and adaxial leaf surfaces, are completely dry. When the peel is dry, cut a small piece of tape with scissors. When cutting the piece of tape, please make sure that you use the scissors and not rip off the tape. It is also crucial that you do not get fingerprints anywhere on the tape. Make sure you hold the tape by the edge. Once you've cut the tape, place it on the dried nail polish patch. Press down on the tape to ensure good contact with the nail polish. And then pull on the corner of the tape to remove the nail polish impression. Tape your impression to the appropriate microscope slide and use scissors to trim away any excess tape. You can fit three peels onto one slide. In one of the final steps in Part C, examine the leaf impression under a compound microscope using the 40 times objective lens. Here are some examples of the plants that you'll see in Part C.